Hello everybody, and today we are looking at a super rare Indiana Jones cocktail PCV. And what this is, is basically an Atari System 1 motherboard and cartridge in one, in a nice convenient sized PCV which you could fit in a jammer cab or in fact a cocktail table maybe. Um, it's basically very similar hardware to the Road Blasters cockpit hardware. Um, now unfortunately on this one some idiot has soldered the video le leads into this connector so I'm going to have to replace that connector with a brand new one. Other than that, if we look at this board, I don't think any work's ever been done on it. It actually looks 100% original, unhacked, which is nice. So, nice high value board. Right, so I think I've had this for about 10 years. Uh, I've never powered it up. It was sold as working, but you know how it goes. When, you, when someone says something's working, it probably isn't. But I'm going to put a new connector on here. Um, oh, I've got this. This sort of uh, this this looms actually for a Road Blasters cockpit PCB set that I've kind of not finished yet. But it's got the right video connector on it, so I need to tidy it up and finish it off, and then I can use that to test this board after I've replaced that connector, of course. And this one's just yeah, fortunately that's not soldered on much, just clipped on, so we can easily clean that edge connector. It's not bad condition actually. So yeah, just that connector to replace. Um, and then that's fingers crossed and hope it works, or at least it's mostly working. Don't really want to change anything that can avoid it because it is in really nice condition. But whatever we need to do to get it working, let's get it done. I was able to desolder the old connector nice and cleanly, so I've gone find a new one and fit that on. And there we go, new socket fitted as easily as the old one was removed. I have to say, the edge connector is actually quite in nice condition on this. I'm, I'm guessing it hasn't been plugged in and out too many times. So, uh, fingers crossed, let's get this loom wired up and see what happens. And one thing I was uh, wondering about while looking at this PCB and straightening out the caps is why did you put the ceramic caps on big long legs like this? I'm not sure why, that's not a particularly common thing on video game PCBs. Unfortunately, it's got long legs here to give it clearance so that they wouldn't interfere with the table. Um, but yeah, a few of these were bent over from when they were wrapped up, so I'm just straightening them all out, make sure nothing's short circuiting. But there's absolutely loads of these on the long legs. Okay, let's see what this board does. That's a good start. It's off and running with some graphics corruption. Very minor. Uh, that might just be a bad socket or a chip that needs reseating. Uh, or alternatively, the voltage might be a bit low because it's only running. I think I've got two, two fires and two grounds. Maybe do a couple more wires. It's going to be a fairly heavy uh, current drawing board. Uh, so yeah, maybe I need to up the voltage slightly. I'll give that a try in a minute. But that's that's kind of working. Um, I haven't actually got joystick wired up yet, so I need to finish the loom off. But that's good news. Uh, you know, that's fixable at least fairly easily, I'd have thought. So, uh, yeah, great. There we go, I'm getting less than 4.3 volts measured on the uh, top board. So, I need to resolve the voltage issues before I start looking for faults that might not actually exist. Um, I'm not sure if there's any connectors I can run some voltage to on this board. There's normally a like a second connector for power. There's actually this the power is actually distributed via this cable here from the other board. There's obviously gonna be losses in the connectors and things like that. So uh, I'll see if I can maybe run some wires directly onto this board just to get it up to five volts and uh, just make sure everything's okay first. Okay, so what I've done is I've worked on the loom, I've added all the extra grounds and five volt lines, so I've actually got the voltage right on the board now. Now we've still got a bit of an issue, it actually looks slightly better. Um but one thing I've noticed, let's just start up a game. So that, that screen's a lot better than it was. Right, so let's just uh, see if you can see. Right, so if you look at Indiana Jones, his legs are currently brown. Now, there's four slags bang chips here. So if I swap these two over the top and the bottom ones. Not easy to do with one hand. Okay, now if you look at Indiana Jones, his legs are red. So these chips are actually identical, so changing the position of them shouldn't change the colours in the game. 
this leads me to believe at least one of these is bad. So I'm just going to grab another System 1 cartridge board and see if I've got some good slags that I can swap in and test. Okay, so I swapped out this bottom one with a, a known good slags. And the trousers on India have gone back to brown instead of red. Oh, it's the start another game. It's about to end. Come on. Right. Uh, so, watch this when I swap out this chip here. That a bad one, and we'll put a good one in. Okay, and lines are gone. Now the colours aren't quite 100% right, but that's a big improvement. So I think we're on the right track. So look, the title screen's now cleared up with no lines in it. So uh, let's carry on, see if we can get it working fully. Okay, so uh, quite strangely, three of them were bad. Three, three tested bad out of four, which is really weird since there's nothing else wrong with the board other than a few chips need the legs cleaning. So uh, that's weird. Um, it's not far off, it's just not quite right yet. So I need to investigate the colour palette, see why it's not quite 100%. Hopefully not too far to go. Well, I was actually wrong. All four are bad. I've just tested this one again. Uh, with this one in the game, although there's no lines or corruptions, the colours are funny. And that's if you put it in any position, strangely enough. Again, uh, if I put the, another known good one in, let's just uh, here we go. Look at that. That looks 100% in the colour department. See if we can get to the title screen, see how that looks. Tart screen is fine actually, there wasn't anything wrong with it before, I don't think it's still the same. So it's just the sprites that were affected. Uh, let's just uh, let it cycle through a few screens, make sure it's all good. Come on, take its time. That one looks good. That looks good. All perfect looking. Absolutely fine. Okay, so slight problem. The game's actually running, but the sound is incredibly quiet now. You can just barely hear it. Um, so, so, ah! There's like a. This is a factory bodge wire actually, because I've got a few of these. Well, not this specific, but I've got road blasters boards, and uh, they all have this wire. It looks like that solder joint there is a bit iffy. Oh, easy fix. Just gonna give that a resoldering and it should be back to working again. There we go. A little bit of soldering. And the sound's nice and reliable again. <laughs> 